In this video, I'm going to show you this really creative way of transitioning from one shot into another. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe After Effects and you've got some footage on the timeline, as you can see, I've got this shot of a person walking and this is the shot that we want to do the transition on. So essentially we want to cut this person out towards the end of their action. The background is going to fade away and then the subject is going to fade away after. So we're going to target the background and the foreground, the subject at different times during this transition. So to begin with, we're just going to start by pre-comping this. So we'll press pre-compose and then we'll make a copy of this layer. So we'll go command C, command V, and this can be our background layer. So we'll just rename this to background and the top layer can be our subject layer. So we'll just rename this to subject. And then on this subject layer, we're just going to go up to the roto brush, making sure the cursor is at the very beginning, go up to the roto brush and double select that video. And this brings up the roto brush tool. So in order for the roto brush to work, we first need to select a part that we want to keep and we want to keep the subject. So I'm just going to paint within the subject, make sure I don't get any of the grass or the sky around. So with the roto brush, everything within the pink outline is going to stay and everything outside of that pink outline is going to go. If I select these options down here, let's select this red one, you can see a visual representation of what's going to stay and go. So obviously this green between the legs needs to go because that's not part of the subject. So we'll go into window, go to the brushes window, make sure brushes is selected and then we'll just decrease the size of this brush. Hold option on the keyboard and that's going to turn the brush red and then we'll just get rid of this grass here. So we'll go back to fit and then just down here on the right, as you can see here, we've got the cursor, which is the blue line and you've got this gray bar underneath and the this brownish sort of bar, that's the entire length of the clip. So at the moment, this gray bar is only set for the first second. So if we pull this over to the right, that's going to mean the rotor brush is going to analyze the full clip rather than just the second. So with that in mind, press space on the keyboard to let After Effects analyze the scene. Of course, if there's any moments where you lose part of your subject, so as you can see, I'm losing part of this person's hand here. If that's the case, just go back in, make any corrections, delete anything that isn't supposed to be there, and then just carry on analyzing. So once you have successfully completed that roto brush, you can go ahead, turn off your background layer, and you'll see your subject isolated in their own layer. So this means we can control the subject on their own. Of course, as you can see, my roto wasn't the cleanest rotoing in the world, so it looks a little bit messy. But for the sake of this tutorial, that's fine. Just make sure it looks clean on your end. So from here, you can just turn the background layer back on and we're just going to begin this transition by removing the background layer and then we'll delete the subject later on. So we'll go into the pen tool and we'll just draw a mask around the entire video. Go into masks, mask one and create a brand new keyframe on the mask path. Now we'll move a few frames over to the right and you can just move the mask down so if we play this back, the background is just going to drop away and leave the subject in frame. So you can hold that for a second and then on the subject layer, press P on the keyboard to load position. And then we'll move over a few frames after creating a keyframe and we'll just pull the position down off screen. So we've got the video playing, the background drops, then the subject drops. You can move these closer together if you wanted. And then of course, if we drop a random video, Underneath these two layers, you can see the background transitions away and then the person is left before slowly transitioning away as well. Of course though, it's not just position that you can use to transition this subject out because the subject is now in their own layer and the background is on its own layer. You can do pretty much anything and just leave the subject to animate afterwards. So we can do glitching effects, we can do masking effects, we can do rotation effects, we can do scale effects. You can also just do a simple opacity fade. So if you press T on the keyboard on opacity at 100%, move over a few frames, pull this down to zero, and then do the same thing on the subject layer. You can see we're fading out subject. It's background first, then the subject. Of course, you can leave the subject on screen for longer. It's completely up to you. 
But there you go. Essentially, that is the masking transition now complete. As long as you've separated the subject from the background, you can pretty much do any sort of effect using this technique and you're going to get an interesting and really awesome result every single time. But there you go. That is the masking transition right inside of Adobe After Effects. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.